Hello Year 6 and welcome to today's arts lesson with also a little bit of history. And we are continuing to look at our topic of... Walk like an Egyptian. And as part of that, we are today going to be spending some time looking at hieroglyphics. So the ancient Egyptians, uh, one of the things that they are famous for is being one of the first uh, like civilizations to, to use writing of some kind and read it. Still not many people did it back then but uh, there's some of the earliest evidence of people doing some writing. So your job for today is to go to uh, the normal place and then you'll find some information. So let me talk to you a little bit about that information. Here we go. So once you find the information page, it will look like this. And we have got uh, this, what it says, if you've not watched the video, watch it, what we are doing. And then here, Click here to visit the BBC webpage, Bite Size, all about hieroglyphics. Oh, quick flash of Father David. Uh, so, what you are going to be doing is go through this, and then you can read some information about hieroglyphics, you can read about what they were, uh, who made them, how we know about them. We've got the alphabet here, we've got a little place to practice your hieroglyphics, you can do some work on writing, like scribe, cracking some quotes. Okay, so I want you to spend five or ten minutes on this website. Then, we go back to what your task is for today. And it says, once you've visited the website, I would like you to write your own name in hieroglyphic symbols. Make sure you take the time to be as detailed as possible with each symbol, like I'm about to do, and use the symbols in the key below, but add extra detail to what there is in the key, okay? So, you go down here, and we've got the full alphabet. Now you can see that these diagrams are quite simple, okay? If I asked you, if I was writing my name, Kia Simister, it wouldn't take me that long to, to do that, uh, to draw a kind of arm, to draw that, okay? And we are looking for some really good, intricate artwork. So I'm gonna show you now what I'm kind of thinking I'm looking for. Okay, let's go. Okay, so when I look at what it says that the K should be like, uh, you'll see that up in, let's go down in that corner. So that's what the K, the kind of simple version look like. But like I've said, we are trying to do some great artwork today, okay? So I'm not looking for you to just do a very, very quick dark drawing of that. Instead, I want you to really go to town with the detail. So if you've got some colored pencils around the house, now's a good time to get them out. I've just got my bag of colored pencils, but I'm realizing that loads of them are blunt that's what we'll do our best to manage and we are going to have a go at drawing my name in hieroglyphics but trying to go as detailed and intricate and amazing as possible so the k to me looks almost like a little uh, jug a little container but I'm gonna make it much more detailed than that. So it still has to be the same uh, shape. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay, so it's still gonna to have to be the same shape. However, we can add lots of detail to it. So I'm actually gonna have, slightly make it basketball related because I think that says a lot about me, so. Now that is the corner of a basketball. I need to add just some there. And then something else about me is that I really like to get out on walks. Hopefully you can see that I'm creating things that are definitely more detailed than what it is initially on there. Now, next one is an E, which is gonna come up here. And obviously that's reasonably not too complicated. However, like I said, I'm gonna try 
and add as much detail as possible. To make my work that little bit more interesting. So to do this, I'm just gonna add a pattern to the arm. on the hand. And then we'll maybe add some yellow, some green, some brown, some yellow, some green, some brown, some yellow, some green, some brown. Now, I'm gonna stop there because I don't want this video to last forever, but hopefully you get my point. We are trying to do as much detail as possible because yes, you could just go, uh, well, that stands for K, uh, that stands for E, uh, that stands for I, that uh, was R, lip stands for R. And yeah, you could do that and have written Kia, but I'm not looking for that, okay? Because that will take you two minutes. I'm looking for a lesson where you're spending 15, 20 minutes doing this artwork, okay? So this video has lasted, I don't know, about eight minutes. Uh, I want you to spend five or 10 minutes watching the, the, using the website and then 15, 20 minutes doing the work and all of that will add up to uh, a full lesson. But let's just quickly go back to my face. See you six, let's work hard. Let's do something that looks amazing and that we can be look, back, look back at and be proud of. And let's hopefully we've learned lots about the hieroglyphics. Okay, see you later in the next amazing art lesson with a bit of history. Goodbye.